Hey everybody, Blue Goblin here on behalf of Dark Adventure Inc. Plus here to bring you comic book reviews for both Savage Wolverines issues uh, number 10 and number 11. Um, yeah, this is the next two parts of this story of, you know, Logan being marooned on this alien planet. We don't know who, we still don't know who marooned him on this planet, nor do I really care. Uh, in issue 10, Logan is still with this little boy, and, uh, you know, trying to, they're trying to get to know each other better, which makes sense. You want to progress the story more, you want to get into, uh, interested in the characters and how they're developed, so, yay, that's... That's, that's always good. But then we have a spacecraft come down, and the boy's obviously scared with what he sees, and uh, he gets the, the boy gets taken. Apparently these people on this craft know who Logan is. Uh, Logan's kind of stunned by that fact, and as he's trying to save the boy, the ship's about to explode, and he's just like, ah, oh, cripes, you got to be kidding me. Well, he doesn't actually say cripes, but... <laughs> Now, Frank Cho exposed that word so much, he's got me saying it. But, um, yeah, it's like a big dramatic moment when you're turning the pages, you know, like, nine. You know, and you see Wolverine running here, eight, and then he's running here, seven, and he's running here, six. You get the idea. By the time the clock gets down to one second, he's just getting out of the door, just in time for the big Michael Bay-ish explosion as Logan's blown out of the, out of the spaceship. Just, he gets out the door just as the spaceship explodes, and I swear, it does kind of look like a Michael Bay-ish type explosion, which, eh, eh, just, eh, that's all, that's all I can say. But, then, you know, Logan finds a way to get back to the boy, and the, the, the issue ends on the cliffhanger with Logan finding himself in a laboratory full of test two people like gee haven't seen that in a comic book before and then that leads us into issue 11 with issue 11 we learn a little bit more about this boy one of the men on this spacecraft y'all can y'all can tell that I didn't really put 100% attention into this story I mean Jock's artwork in here I was not a fan I will admit that I know there's a lot of Jock fans out there, and I understand that. But his artwork in this story, I'm not going to lie, I was not impressed. Uh, and then we learn the secret behind the boy. Uh, I don't remember the correct terminology that, that this guy uses, but he's got this he's got this like, like knife or blade or something stuck through this boy, and you see little slit holes in the boy's hand, and I'm like, no, don't tell me. He said... He was an imperfect copy. And I I facepalmed. I literally facepalmed when I read that. And I was like, are you kidding me? A clone. He's basically a clone. I, <clears throat> I don't know what Marvel's fetish... I don't, Marvel's got a weird fetish for clones. I mean, they just love using clones after clones after clones. Uh, Marvel, try to find something new to do with your characters besides using clones. I mean, I, I never understood. I mean, some clone stories will can work. I mean, I liked the the clone saga from Ultimate Spider-Man, the first run with Bendis and Bagley. Now, that clone saga, I actually liked. But the, the 616 clone saga with Ben Riley and Kane and everything, that was a piece of crap. This story is no different from that. I mean, oh my god. They took the easy way out and just made him a clone. Instead of making him seem like an original character that we could have really got invested in. Nope, nah, he's just a clone. Or a copy, is what they called it. Whatever. Th these two issues did not impress me at all. I, I, Once I read it, I just felt like I simply read two issues of Savage Wolverine. and That's the honest to god truth. I give issues 10 to 11, I give them the same score. I give them a 2. I'll give them, you know, one for decent, you know, semi-decent storytelling, and 
I can just, I'll, I'm being nice here. They tried. They honestly tried. But th this whole story with, with Jock's story involving Wolverine on this alien planet and everything, it just fell flat to me. I wasn't impressed at all, and I really honestly didn't like this. But then again, that's just my opinion. Let me know what you guys thought in the comment sections below. Uh, if you can put up with Google+. Plus. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, there's my review of Savage Wolverine issues number 10 and number 11. I apologize for being behind on these reviews for Inc. Plus. Please subscribe to Dark Avenger Inc. Plus. Please, you won't regret it. Uh, don't forget about everybody else here on Inc. Plus as well as Dark Avenger Inc. When it comes to you know people like the Mount Vernon Kid, Comic Uno, Fast Stack of Comics, and of course myself, <laughs> um, and of course J. Al Ghoul. Uh, don't forget about my friends, Deadpool Zilla and Brandon Hex. A little cheap plug for my personal friends, um, as well as the Mount Vernon Kid. Subscribe here, please. Uh, and subscribe to my channels, Blue Goblin 01, Blue Goblin X. Thanks for watching, everybody. And until next time, I'll see you all later.